What's poppin' and why? You already know it's your host, Mr. K. Gav, in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know. Live on that Spreaker app, available on every device. You could catch the show on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple and Google Podcasts, CastBox, YouTube. You already know we on everything. Every device, every market. We on your mama's tablet. We on your auntie's cell phone. Make sure you get it now. Mr. Cake Ave on air. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I want to start the show off today by sending our prayers and our condolences to Dog the Bounty Hunter and his family. Beth Chapman has passed away from her cancer. Our prayers and condolences go out to you and yours. You know, so many people have watched your show over the years. And, you know, I know it's a very, very hard time. Um, You know, they said Dog did a little, you know, talking where he was, you know, Letting people know, you know, not to send any money. You know, they have money. But if you want to send flowers or something like that, you know, to definitely do that. You know, again, my prayers and condolences go out to you and yours and your family. One time for Beth Chapman, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know, man. That's really sad. And I I definitely wanted to shout you out on the show. In other breaking news, Slim 400 from L.A. is shot 10 times in Compton. He's in the hospital. Um, You know, there's different reports. You don't know what's going on. You don't know if he's alive. You know, you don't know what's going on. Um, He's talking about he was in surgery. Uh, so you don't really know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, people could say they know, but you really don't know. Hope everything goes good for him. You know, he's a young dude, you know, in the game doing his thing. So hopefully everything works out for your boy. In other news, 51 arrests have been made. In Texas For a child sex crime They got them all 51 people That's a lot of people You know it seems to me That when these When these cases happen Or when these things happen It's such a large group of people It's like when they catch them They don't just catch one person Two people This shit is over 50 people Disgusting What the fuck is going on That shit is so disgusting It's not even funny I'm glad y'all all all got locked up I'm glad y'all got caught You know what I'm saying That shit is disgusting And there's no There's no Nothing going around That I don't want to hear nothing That it says says, 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 Not hurting nobody That no I don't fuck with that shit at all Y'all not getting no leniency from me I, I, I'm not hearing that shit We're going to keep it going And another sad story Today's like a sad show i just been hearing so much sad You know, stories You know, a, a sister kills her twin sister Over a dude That's just ridiculous Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing these stories And I'm just like, what the fuck Like, you know Like, it don't make no sense to me you know, you should you you don't got nothing else better to do. You don't got nothing to do but to fight over a dude. This shit is it just don't make no sense. And at this point, you know, I'm hearing things and it's you know another the other day a woman was pregnant, she was in a fight, she ended up getting shot, and then her baby dies. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, a sister's killing her twin sister over a dude. 
This shit just don't make no sense, man. I really don't, and I, I'm, I, you know, there's a couple sad stories, you know what I mean? My prayers and condolences go out to everybody. Hope everybody tries to stay safe and just make some better decisions and, and try to do different, man. Because this shit right here, this shit ain't no joke, man. Real talk, these are people's lives, man. And people's children, man. You already know, Mr. K. Gav on air, live on that Spreaker app. If you want to check out the show live, hit us in the chat room. Get that Spreaker app available on every device, Apple, Android, and Windows. If you can't watch the show live, you could catch the rebroadcast on all the major networks, iHeartRadio, Apple and Google Podcasts. You already know, Spotify, CastBox, YouTube, we on everything, man. So definitely don't miss the show. Subscribe, press the like button, you already know we in the building. Uh one dude doing this thing is Nick Cannon. You know what I'm saying? He got a new radio show out in LA. He on the power power network. I think it's power 106. You know what I'm saying? And that's a big move. You know what I'm saying? Every day of the week. He got his radio show. He's doing his thing. And it also keeps you relevant, man. It keeps you around. It keeps you, you know what I mean, in a in a in the flow of things. You know what I mean? Keeps you networking, working with people. So, you know what I'm saying? One time for that man, yo. You already know. Nick Cannon doing his thing, bro. Talk. Uh this weekend, this weekend, um, you know, is that Fighter Fest. You know, it's AEW All Elite Wrestling's parody of Fire Fest. It's a wrestling event live this Saturday today. And uh, it will be live broadcasts on BR Live, Bleacher Report Live. You can catch it for free. So no reason, no excuse to not watch the show. It's going to be real big. Make sure you check it out. And also in big wrestling news, uh, WWE is in Tokyo right now doing their shows. But this week they was caught real big because they have two new acquisitions. They acquired Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff. Paul Heyman will be executive director of the Raw show. And Bischoff will be the executive director of SmackDown Live. You know... There's a lot of big changes happening, especially with, you know, uh, WWE going to the Fox Network. You know, they talking about that's a billion, billion dollar deals. You know what I'm saying? 250 million a year. This, that, and the third. So they got to pull out all the big guns right now. They can't even sit back and think that shit ain't going to happen. You know, they got a lot of people like, you know, uh, uh, uh. Dean Malenko, Jim Ross, and all these other people going to AEW. So it looks like WWE is basically going back and, you know, got Eric Bischoff, Paul Heyman, you know, and it got people that, you know, really know how WWE is run, how they want it run, how they got it going down. So that's a really big move for them. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to really change anything because it definitely still has to go through Vince McMahon. So you really don't know if it's really going to change anything or if Vince is just going to be like, nah, I really don't like that kind of stuff. And it is what it is. But WWE, uh, there was some drama with AEW because... Uh, AEW has another show coming up called Fight for the Fallen in Jacksonville, and WWE has actually done a show, has a show on the same day. So, you know, there's probably a little beef there, this, that, and the third, but things like that is gonna happen, especially in these big companies. You know, you got, you know, all these things going on, and WWE is like, yo, if y'all wanna play hardball, then y'all gonna have to play. And WWE is the biggest right now, you know, all over the world. So, you know, you already know it's, it's big moves going down. And in, in NWA news, National Wrestling Alliance, uh, owned by Billy Corgan, um, they just acquired Eli Drake. And if you don't know Eli Drake, 
He was formerly of TNA or Impact Wrestling, whatever you want to call it. A dead champion over there. And I just saw him on an interview with uh, Chris Van Vliet. If you don't know Chris Van Vliet, is a uh, 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 interviewer. You know, interviews a lot of wrestling uh, personalities, wrestlers, um, and he does all different types of interviews. He just had a, a interview with Eli Drake, and Eli Drake was just like, "I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what's gonna happen." But now we know he's with NWA National Wrestling Alliance. I think that's a big grab for NWA because Eli Drake is noticeable, not recognizable. People do know him and they know that, you know, he's a wrestler and he's he's great shape. Uh, you know, I think he uh, does good promos. You know, if you know his his thing was dummy, you know, dummy. Yeah. You know, the way he would do his thing. So I think that's going to be really big for N.W.A. You know what I mean? One time for Eli Drake for the new jump over the N.W.A. I think that's really going to be, you know what I mean, really, really big. Um, I think they said, um, you know that is is is, is going to be big, man. It's gonna it's gonna really be big. So definitely stay tuned and watch it. The Ring of Honor show, the best in the world that I've seen. There's pictures that is just saying that it's empty. You know, I saw a tweet by what's his, I think it's Satin Brian Satin. I don't, I don't know his first name. I forgot his name, but um, he's from another wrestling website, and uh, he was talking about that the seats were empty. Ring of Honor. You know, they lost a lot of people. They had a lot of people. They had Cody Rose. They had the Young Bucks. They had a lot of people and they not there no more. So, you know. Last story to show this guy named Superhuman. He be jumping on a whole bunch of shit. This nigga got thousands and thousands of views. All he does is put Legos on a table or does say and he does a flip on it and breaks his back. He that kid's really gonna get hurt, yo. If y'all watch that kid, do not try it at home. You know, I don't care if you're doing it for the gigolos and the gigalats, whoop whoop. That shit look ridiculous. You know, another YouTuber by the name of Grim, Grim Toy Show. They was also doing a video like that. You know, it's funny, but someone can really get hurt, man. And, you know, something like that. You know, yeah, you got like 200,000 views from 10, 20 different videos. But is it really worth you really getting hurt or something really happening to you just for those little YouTube views? I don't think so, but it is what it is. You already know Mr. Cake Gab on air, live on that Spreak app. Get it now on every device. And if you can't watch the show live, the rebroadcast is on all major networks. iHeartRadio, Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. You already know CastBox. We on everything, baby. You already know R.I.P. Big R.I.P. to Beth Chapman. You know, our prayers and condolences goes out. To you and yours, shout out Dog the Bounty Hunter and everybody else. Um, you already know I had a great time. Yeah, you know I mean, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, you know I mean, watch the wrestling or watch the sports. Watch what you do. You know what I'm saying? Go Yankees. We in the building. And like I always say, stay up and stay strong. And why?